Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm just bringing you a very quick video on how I have been doing my mini box to strap connectors. Um, I designed the pattern for the connectors to be recessed in between the exterior and the lining, and then you rivet them, and that's just how I originally designed them. But since I started using edge coat, I really like to um, have that pop of color on my strap anchors. So I've been putting them on the exterior. And so you can see this is what it looks like now. And then they just go down on the inside. Um, I don't think that this is any stronger or, you know, construction wise changes anything about the design. I just like the look of this. And so this is how I've been doing it. Um, and a couple of you sneaky little devils noticed it in a few of my last videos. So, um, yeah, you asked me to show you and here we go. Um, so I just got sidetracked by the size of my forehead in the video. This is why I never wear my hair up. Anyways, another quick update because a lot of you have been asking is the dog that I talked about in my last live or my last mail opening, whatever, my last video a hundred years ago, as I tend to do. Um, we ended up keeping her. We named her Clementine. Uh, we call her Clemmy. Took her to the vet. She is all good in the hood. She Everything is great. Um, she does kind of have a bum knee, so she might need surgery in the future. But other than that, she's heart room negative. She's caught up on all of her um, vaccines. And she goes tomorrow to get spayed, which I'm thankful for because she went into heat, which hasn't been great, but it could have been worse. But um, yeah, she's doing great. She has just coalesced into our family really well. Um, I knew it was official when I made her a tag or when I made her a collar and then I ordered her a tag. Druzy, of course, is not a huge fan, but we didn't ever expect her to be, did we? All right, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, Mwah. let me sit. Good girl. Oh, there's our other friend animal that we watch. Sorry, my floor is a mess, but just wanted to let you guys say hi to Clementine. She is a, a wiggle butt. She's a she's super funny and silly. She gets crazy eyes. Here's her. Whoop. Oh my gosh, sorry. Here's her collar that I made her. I did a martingale collar. Whoa, Clemmy. And then she got this cool tag made. But yeah, there's Clammers. Okay, so we've got our tools ready to go. I have my hardware, too much of it. But I have my hardware, I have my rectangle rings, and then I have my completed and edge-coated um, strap connectors, and then I have my strap. And so, it's really simple, but all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make marks on either side of the seam line, on both sides of the completed box tote. You can see it's already top-stitched as well. And then, I'm gonna make my little dots here, cut those out, slide this through, put it on the outside and rivet it down. So pretty straightforward, but you guys have been asking for a video. So here we are. I'm gonna use my rivet placement tool that I got from Tops and Bobbins. And I am just lining up the first set of holes with my seam line. My seam line is about one eighth from the top here. I'll do the same on this side. Obviously centering. If you hear noises, it's because I have my windows open today for the first time. It's a beautiful 72 degrees here and I'm loving it. And so, yeah, just so you know, there might be dogs barking, might be cars going by, you might hear my little robot vacuum, just a myriad of sounds happening here. Okay, so I've got both of these marked, and now I'm just going to punch the holes on one side, and then I'm going to fold it in half and line it up and use the holes I've just punched as my guide. Um, I started doing my strap anchors like this mainly because I liked the top or the edge coating. Oof, I use my strong hand. Um, I like the way that the edge coated pieces look and if I'm making a box tote that has 
a really nice pop of color on the edge coat, it just stands out. For example, on the black, I have beige edge coat, and these are gonna go on this moon face tote. So it just, it you know, it just adds a nice contrast. Okay, where were we? All right, so I just have to poke my holes here. And then just like with a regular box tote, you wanna be really careful not to catch your zipper when you're popping these holes because that would be heartbreaking. You might have noticed that I even experimented a little bit farther and I did, I tucked my zipper tails in on this zipper. I designed the pattern to have zipper tape tails on both sides, but I've been seeing some people tuck them and I wanted to give it a go and I think I like it, it's kinda nice. Um, so if you wanna see a video of that, I can show you as well. Um, but there are lots of other sewing patterns that do that hack, well not hack, but it's designed like that. So, but yeah, let me know if you want to see it and I can show you. Okay, so simple, Let's, I'm gonna pick which side I want to be on the outside. This side here, just gonna slide my rivets through one side. And then in through the side of my box tote, fold this bad boy down. My rivets are probably seven millimeters by seven millimeters. That's what I tend to buy. I have them mixed up with some eight millimeter rivets, which is why you always see me scrounging around in here like a little squirrel, because they're all mixed up. And yeah, that's what I always end up doing somehow. But they're so close in size that, that they're easily confused. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like after we press the rivets. I'm gonna go ahead and get this side going. Okay. Ooh, that hole, that, that was a really wonky hole. So I'm gonna put this side on the inside of my bag because that one is wackadoodle big time. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide it on. Do, 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 do. Um, if you ever see on my Instagram posts or in just any photos or background of my videos, um, some of my patterns that have different um, design aspects than what I originally wrote it for, feel free to ask me about it. I can show you guys what I've done. Um, just like most people, I get tired of making the same stuff and I like to experiment as well. So you might see that on occasion, but feel free to ask and I will uh, show you what I've done and if I like the change or not. Okay, so I'm just gonna use my press and press these guys down. And then there we go. So the other minor change that I made on this bag in particular, or on this whole series of bags that I'm making, is on these strap connectors, instead of making them exactly one inch wide, I shaved like a 16th of an inch off on both sides because what I've noticed is that when I cut them one inch wide and then I edge coat all of those layers, it makes it a little hard for this connector to maneuver in there. Um, sometimes it's not a bad thing because it holds the shape nicely and it keeps it exactly where it, where you put it. But I find that whenever the strap is connected and, you know, if you put it on the ground or what, maybe not on the ground because, you know, cork is expensive. But whenever you put your bag down, it allows the strap to fall and just relax nicely. So, yeah, so that's the little quick tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, leave me a comment. Be sure to hit the like all that fun stuff. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, I also wanted to pop back on here at the end and just let you know that in my Patreon group, we are doing a Triscale Wallet Sew Along. It's gonna be a four part series, um, two pre-recorded videos, two live videos, Q and A's. Um, it's gonna be chunked down and very palatable, more easy, I don't want to say easy because I know everyone has different skill levels, but you know, we're, we're going to be going through things nice and slow with a fine tooth comb. And so if you'd like to join us, 
feel free to join my Patreon group. I will link that in the description box below. And I want to give a big thanks to all the people that have already joined my Patreon. It's um, kind of mind blowing that people are so supportive, I guess, especially in this day and age. Sometimes that's hard to find, but I just really thank everybody for your support patronage and even liking my videos and um, watching them and following me here. It really means a lot. And I hope that you are all doing fantastic out there. And um, yeah, depending on where you live, let's go spring. All right. Talk to you guys soon. Hopefully it won't be another 400 years until my next video.